What no one tells you about jeans. When it comes to choosing perfect jeans, sometimes there's no real substitute for trying on several different pairs until you find the right one. However, there are a few tricks that you can employ the next time you go shopping that might just assist in narrowing down your search. Keep watching and we'll teach you how to find the perfect jeans fit. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Now, we're going to answer the age-old question, how do you find the perfect jeans? Well, throughout this video, we're going to go through a couple of helpful fashion tips that you can use to find the best jeans for your specific fashion. We'll go through the different styles, and if you watch all the way to the end, we'll teach you how to find the perfect jeans without even trying them on. All right, let's explore some jean styles and tips for men, and then we'll move on to women's styles and tips. Pay attention. You're about to learn an important life lesson in men's style. Number one, straight. Our first piece of men's style is a pair of blue jeans that are the most common of all the types of denim pants. They're, well, straight. They don't have a wide thigh gap, but don't really widen near the bottom either. All in all, these jeans go best with men who are the athletic type. Number two, skinny. You've seen these puppies on punkers and rock stars all around the world. The skinny jean is an icon in and of itself. They stick to the body, contouring your quads, hammies, and everything else. They're extra snug in the thighs and get more and more narrow the lower you go. These jeans do not leave much to the imagination. We recommend these if you've got shorter legs or some legs you'd like to show off. Number three, slim. These pants are close to the skinny pants. They're just not as tight. They fit to your legs perfectly. Not too tight, but not too loose either. They really are the Goldilocks of jeans. Just right. Here's the scoop. These are the best jeans for a man with a smaller or thinner build. Skinny guys, eat your heart out. Number four, boot cut. Ride em, cowboy. Think back of the days of the Old West and thank your hog tie and whiskey drinking bull riding ancestors for this pair. They're open at the bottom so that the men who built the West could accommodate their large boots, hence the name boot cut. Men who have a larger build, muscle men, these jeans are for you. Number five, relaxed. Ah, picture yourself on a lazy river, birds chirping, the sun at a perfect temperature, not too dry, not too humid. This is what it feels like to wear a relaxed style of jeans. They have open thighs, open calves, like they're throwing on a pair of denim sweatpants. Because of their comfortability, these things are versatile as all heck. Anyone can and should wear them. Number six, loose. Oh yeah, folks, we're turning it loose. Well, actually, we should probably reference rap and not rock here because those are the kinds of people you'll usually see wearing these loose jeans. With lots of excess fabric, these jeans will either make you look like a genie or M&M, so they're usually recommended to men with a larger lower body. All right, about that reference, um, why don't we just lose it? All right, guys, enough about men's style. Let's move forward with the ladies. Girls out there, it's hard to find a style and fit that falls into what you might call your best jeans. For a pair of denim pants that are perfect for you, pay attention to the following styles. Number one, boot cut. All right, ladies, these jeans are an anomaly. They start with a perfect tight fit at the thighs, but loosen as you go down, mostly near the ankle. They're pretty darn good jeans for most body types, but they're perfect jeans for girls with curves. Go out and flaunt them if you got them in a nice pair of boot cut jeans. Number two, flared. If you've worn boot cut, then you'll recognize this type of denim blue jeans. They're described as like boot cut, but wider hem. You'd recognize these babies from the 70s, or if you're not from that time, you'd know them from movies about the 70s. Wear them if you wanna look throwback. Number three, Wide leg. Speaking of a throwback, a time a lot of people are relating to these days are the 90s. If you were to take a time machine and go back to then, 
you'd probably see a lot of girls wearing these. The style is in the name, wide legs, that go from somewhat tight to super wide around the thigh. Again, wear them if you wished you lived in the 90s. Beanie Babies, N64, and the Disney Renaissance. Oh my. Number four, skinny blue jeans. One of the most popular styles for women, these are a usual go-to for most girls. They're snug all the way down, from your hips to your ankles. If you want to show off those sexy legs of yours, then toss on a pair of these crowd faves. Number five, cigarette. Disclaimer, no one should smoke, ever. But even though this style shares a name with the death sticks, it doesn't mean that you won't be smoking hot <laughs> if you throw on a pair. Somewhere between straight and skinny, petite women should flock to this blue jean style. Number six, cropped. Most similar to capris, these things ride your hips and expose your ankles. We know, scandalous. But for those women with long, luscious legs, you need a pair that'll show them off. These babies are casual and formal, so rock them on any occasion. Number seven, cuffed. These jeans in structure are good for pretty much any body type. Essentially, they're just jeans with a folded hem. Our advice, pair them with some really nice shoes. Oh, and petite ladies, keep in mind that you don't want your cuffed hem too high up. That would just look weird. Number eight, boyfriend. No, you don't need a boyfriend to fit into these blue jeans. They just look like you pulled them from a guy's closet. They're relaxed, not snug, and are very casual. Any woman would look great in these and would have trouble keeping potential boyfriends away if she walked around in them. Number nine, high rise. All right, these are really cool. They rest above the navel and completely redefined your waistline. People will look at your body, especially your legs, in a whole new light if you wear some high rise blue jeans. If you have an hourglass figure, these are 100% the perfect jeans for you. Number 10, straight. And we end our gendered list the way we began, with straight cut jeans. Like their male counterpart, these are just straight, just regular jeans, your run of the mill pair. They're the Clark Kent to the rest of the list, Superman. Not much more to be said about them, honestly. Really, anyone who likes jeans can wear this style. Now that you've determined your best part of denim pants, we can move forward with finding you those perfect jeans without even trying them on. First, you should probably already have a general idea of what size your waistline is. You can do what most people end up doing at some point in their lives to achieve this. Go to stores, try on pants. This process helps so that in the future, whenever you buy jeans, you'll have a good understanding of what works for you. What happens if you have a size that you like? but there are slight changes in the manufacturing process or design process that might make a size 36 men's at one store actually a size 34 at another. Well, here are three easy tricks that might help you the next time you go shopping. Step one, using your arm for size. The trick is to take your elbow and hand, make a fist, then slide it into the top of the jeans with the clasp closed shut. If your elbow and hand fit with ease, then the jeans might be a good size for you. If your arm is too loose inside or too tight inside the gap, chances are that the jeans might not be the right fit. Step two, measuring with your neck. To do this, button up the jeans, then use the waist to wrap them around your neck. If the material overlaps too much, they might be too big for you. If the material doesn't touch at all, then they might be too small. Step three, measuring the hips with your shoulders. Another method you could employ in your search for the perfect pair of jeans is to measure the waist against your shoulders. If the waistline on the jeans is roughly the same as the length of your shoulders, it should fit pretty well. If it's smaller or larger, this will probably indicate that the jeans will either be too loose or too tight. All in all, these tips should assist you the next time you go to buy a pair of jeans and quite possibly might even save you some time shopping. What do you think about our video? Are there any more blue jean tips that you'd like to share? Leave a helpful denim pants tip in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.